So the next slide talks about the candidate should be brought back to the training room for at least two days a month for a refresher training in soft skills, management development program, or domain training. If there's a new product, or if there's a change in the policy, or in the guideline, or the compliance environment, that's new needs to be talked about. <laughs> now, training sessions on sales process, coaching, leadership styles do help to create or enlist co leaders. Now, if this candidate has got enough potential to become the next level leader, so we as a leader should promote this guy. So how to do it? Now, after one, one and a half year of performance, if we need to promote this guy, first we have to instill those skills that he's ready to take up his new role. All of us can keep performing at the same level, and his boss used to shout at him at 5.30 in the evening. So at 5.30 suddenly, when he becomes a leader, he picks up the phone call and starts talking. That's the practical aspect of it. Agree? Does it? Many times? And he uses those choicest words used by his earlier boss. Sir, agree? Many times? That's the practical aspect. If you go down to the corridors, many times we avoid the corridors. But corridors are the best places where we can get to hear the original feedbacks, not listed down in a feedback form 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. So, some structured field observation and demonstration calls by trainers. If they call themselves trainers, they're supposed to show the skills on field at times. It's not only observation. Observation is what? Whether this guy is aligned to the sales process. Now the trainer sits like this, with no input basis, and observes. Fair enough. But at times, if a driving coach sees you doing the wrong thing, what does he or she do? This much? That is required. So at times you need to demonstrate what is the right style. If you want him to follow a process, show him the process. Should be guys enough to tell him, to, look buddy, I'll show you two calls and three calls you'll be doing in front of myself to check the sales process. Then both of us will embed and discuss content. It can be done by trainers, can be done by the managers. Because managers can be excellent trainers because they have those earlier experiences. Now comes the coaching. The main culprit. But trust me, this is the end thing which changes lives. Many of us, I'm very sure, have seen a movie called The King's Speech. Lana Loke, the speech therapist, and King George VI. Can I have the doors closed, please? Just for a sec, yeah? So, King's Speech talks about when the in days are dark, world is sliding towards a war, and the country needs a leader who will inspire confidence by speaking. And King George VI, the role was played by whom? We have an order to call it? Exactly. And who, who was Lionel Locke, the speech therapist? Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush. So this movie, I'll very strongly recommend. If you have seen it, please, uh, after we finish up the discussion, say it with the distinctions which I discussed. And if you haven't seen it, please watch it. Now, this guy, Lionel Logue, is a speech therapist who's totally unorthodox. And that was in a very orthodox culture, orthodox society. In those times in Britain, he's trying to coach the king on speech, yeah, and he's got severe speech uh, impediment. The stammers. First thing, what does he do? First thing, this coach. I'm slightly going off the track for a minute. Lionel goes into the authentic person. He wants to know him and address him, not by his designation. What he does? He calls him body. It's nickname. See the guts. So he's getting into the authentic. King. Second is, he has got absolute faith. There is no doubt about it that this guy can give a clear and smooth speech. That's his faith as a coach. Third thing, he says, okay, you've got certain body postures which are absolute junk. So what do you need to do? So somatically or bodily, he tells him to shake himself off. How does it? By rolling on the floor. That's one. Shake himself up. Third, says, whatever body postures you have, break it first. Those are those set norms. Because many a times this happens if you're nervous. So he said, and trust me, again, all of us, we have it wired in our system, the way we react, the way we right now what I'm doing also, these are wired absolutely within us. 
Now, if you want to shake it, we can do. We can play the thing, cricket. Okay, we can sing, we can dance, and by those virtue, if uh, that's why many times, if you see after a sales meet in, in the evening, late, right, there was a drinking and dancing session, right? Next morning, when the entire team does the review and a hangover, have you seen a lot of? Can I go into place? So I don't trust that. that that's very valid at times, right? So that was one of the techniques he had used with him. And lastly, he showed him, okay, when you read out Shakespeare, when it answers you are very emphatic, there is no stammering at all. Now, when I go into anger, 